Okay, so I boiled um, 600, well, water. I put 600 milliliters in here, and so doing that kind of one to two ratio, 600 milliliters means 300 grams of the copper sulfate, so whatever stuff. Um, now there's like a weird sizzling when I add it in. Maybe it's because I'm not using distilled water. Maybe the pot wasn't fully cleaned out. But um, now I'm just trying to get it to dissolve. I do see some little black flecks going around, so I think I do need to filter it. Um, so that's the next step, and then I'll see if those things actually work. Okay, so the coffee filters work, but they're just so annoyingly slow. I decided to go with the paper towels because I was just too tired. Now, as I understand it, wet things don't go down the drain, just don't do it. So my plan is just to let them evaporate, and then I can throw everything away. Okay, so it's been a little bit longer than 48 hours, 48 plus what, five hours, whatever. Um, so I'm just about to dump this out and filter it and then try and find the seed crystal. Well, quite a bit of crystals have formed um, just from 48 hours. Okay, so the top layer of crystals kind of came off easily, but then there was a nice solid chunk of crystals about to yay high. Plastic didn't take it, but you know, doing a well knife break points at several things. Everything fell out, and so now it's just finding the nice ceased crystals. Okay, so now I'm going to start sifting through it looking for something that's a very nice triclinic crystal. Um, right off the bat, this one's pretty nice. So maybe I'll just move it to the side there. Okay, so I've sifted through a lot. Um, one thing surprisingly is these little clusters break up really easily if you like attach a knife into it and just kind of break. So you can isolate some really nice crystals there. Um, but I think I'm settling on these three is what if I put this cluster in um, just in like this, I don't know, floating or either on the bottom or maybe even floating, how that would look. Um, I think that's a really pretty cluster. It'd be interesting to see how that might grow. No shape ever. I think this one's gonna be my choice. Okay, so I just took it out, so as of this time, it's about this tall up, and look how pretty that is. It definitely has grown a lot since last time. So I love the size of this. Um, like, this is something I could pick up. Very nice crystal size. I think this is a really good length of time. Two weeks and then two days. And then I don't know what it is about this time, but there are so many beautiful crystals down there. Um, and like so many of them are like triclinic. I mean, I wish this was like the, the seed crystal starters I would start out with. In fact, actually, maybe it's a good thing I didn't because if so, I wouldn't know which one to start with. They are so many gorgeous ones in there and I hope you can see that through here. Okay, so I just took it out and there are like needles growing on it. However, I think, and I haven't actually compared it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's bigger than it was before. But now there's like a new type of crystallization going on with these needles. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but let's see what happens once I've cleared it off some more. Okay, so I got some clear nail polish. I'm kind of working on coat two. Um, it took me a while to find something to clip off the, the string, but I found these scissors. It's probably the best I'm gonna do to be able to clip that off, um, which 
I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's on that side. 